Mom, where are we? Sedona. Sledona. Sledona. <laughs> the energy is just different here. <laughs> Vibrations are feeling a bit higher. Maybe it's the Starbucks. <laughs> For the rental car, we have a lovely Jeep car. Jeep. Jeep car. <laughs> We have a Jeep Cherokee sleigh for the rental car, just in case we get a little bit of snow action. ready, we got dressed, we got a parking spot at Bell Rock, time to climb. to my channel or if you're new hello and welcome my name is Megan today's video I am taking you guys through part one of my mom and I's west coast trip we are doing a lot of hiking sightseeing all that kind of stuff we actually got into Phoenix yesterday we took a flight at four in the morning eastern time landed here around like 11 then from Phoenix we drove two hours to Sedona we're staying in a loft style place which we actually have stayed here in just like one of the different lofts before it's an Airbnb it's really nice I'll just show you guys it's super dirty though so we have a full kitchen here and then there's a washer and dryer which was kind of a big consideration for us because obviously hiking clothes stink hello <laughs> and then we have a full bathroom again sorry it's so messy we've been just so on the go and then just the bedroom with a pretty view and this is also a really pretty view. My mom's on the balcony right now. But once we got in, I think it was like three-ish when we got here and we were like, oh, we really wanna try to take advantage of the good weather because there's supposed to be bad weather. So we ended up hiking Bell Rock, which was super fun. But we were on go mode yesterday, so I didn't really vlog anything. I didn't really have time to talk to you guys. So I just wanted to recap you guys on that. And then today we woke up super early and we hiked Subway Cave, which was super pretty. And then we went crystal shopping and we just ate at a place called The Hudson. And yesterday we ate at a place called Elote Cafe both 10 out of 10 Sedona has really good dining this is our takeout dessert from the Hudson because we were so full it's like a peanut butter pie I am just gonna be grubbing this trip and once we get back we can get back on track but when I'm on vacation I eat good believe that we went to our favorite crystal store in Sedona crystal magic they had some magic wouldn't you say yes we always just spend an hour and a half in there it's just kind of how it goes so first this is the Jasper zebra so as you guys can see it'll say the 
the name and then it'll talk through like the key points of each one. We take the most time figuring out which ones we think are cute and then seeing if the meanings are even gonna work for us. So I got this one from my mom and then I got blue quartz for Katie. She's just a blue girl, you know what I mean? But last year when I got Katie a crystal, not all the points are gonna, you know what I mean? Like not every single point maybe is gonna apply to you but one of the points was apparently like, I didn't realize this, but I think it was something to do with like weight management, something like that. And she was like, <laughs> I mean, she laughed it off. She was like, are you trying to say something? And I was like, no, I just thought it was pretty. But this time there won't be any mix ups. This, this all was safe. And I like that it was a cute little blue heart because her whole room theme is like blue. I got this one for myself. I don't know how to say the name, but I liked all the little points. And then I also got this one. This one was like way overpriced in my opinion, but it's really pretty. Like it's kind of shiny, you know what I mean? But I really liked the the mission statements on this one. Mission statements. <laughs> <laughs> it, I liked its resume personally and, and then I got this one because it's my birthstone and I didn't have any of these ones that are just like flat But my mom has a lot and I always like to rub them. So I got one for myself But yeah, those are my crystals So my mom got so many that they didn't even give her individual bags <laughs> But here are some of the ones she got Here's my most favorite and then she has the cards on the other side. Your most favorite should be the one I'm giving you. Well, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, she was super drawn to this one. This was the... the Stone of New Beginnings. Stone of New Beginnings. I got this in my vlog last year, and it's very handy, so I told my mom she needs to get one. It's just the little heart tray where you can put all your crystals inside. And then she got me this tree. It's so cute. So I think I'm going to put it by my desk where I do all my work. Hello vlog, welcome to day three. We were supposed to go try to see the seven sacred pools on the ground, but we woke up to one thing on the ground. Mom, would you like to give them a hint? It's white and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up this morning, you literally couldn't see any of the mountains. It was just straight fog. It's getting a little clearer as the day goes on, so we're hoping that we'll be able to see some red rockage by the time we're going to dinner. But as opposed to doing a hike today, that's not gonna happen. So we are gonna go hit the town probably go look in more shops and get some stuff because we're going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow so we're gonna get some stuff to prepare for that because they don't have a lot of stores and things to eat there but hopefully by dinner time it's a little prettier outside but for now like it's fine to do a little snow sleigh just you know wearing my pinnacle patches out so chic <laughs> One for Amanda, one for Caitlin. I'll show you guys really fast. I got Caitlin a sand dollar. This has more meaning to her, but I'm not gonna share her backstory on that, but very cute. And then I got Amanda citrine, which is a good alternative for her birthstone. And it also had good like characteristics. And then I got a cup, which I'm actually not gonna take it out of the wrapping because they wrapped it up good for when we fly. I'll pop a picture on the screen. It looks just like my coaching logo, so it kind of felt like a sign that I needed to get it. It kind of got a little brighter outside. I took a bunch of clips of how it's looking.
hello vlog sorry i look very scary right now but we are checking out of our sedona hotel and we're gonna be headed to the grand canyon so i decided i'll keep grand canyon in this vlog and then i'll do the rest of our trip in the other vlog because i don't have a ton i feel like from sedona so yeah yesterday we went to dinner and then it actually ended up getting brighter and pretty so we ended up going to a few little like random overlooks where you can just drive and see stuff we're gonna get breakfast and check out and then we're gonna be headed to the grand canyon where we're gonna check into our hotel and i'll keep you guys posted everyone say bye sedona bye sedona <laughs> so we went to Walgreens because I wanted to get some more pimple patches. I've been wearing these throughout the day. And we actually ended up leaving with a new addition to our family. This is Belle for Bell Rock. <laughs> How we're gonna fit this on our way home, we aren't yet sure, but my mom was really drawn to her. It was the only one. It was the only one. It was like meant for us. But we're headed to the Grand Canyon. When people ask like, which canyon are you at? I'm just like, the grandest. South Rim. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> South Rim, y'all. <laughs> We just made it to the Grand Canyon. My mom is seeing if we can get checked in early. One of the scenic roads that my mom wanted to drive down, we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to because they're calling for snow. For the remainder of our trip up until we go to Vegas, they're calling for lots of snow. So we're kind of just seeing what we can do. We have plans that we want to do. Hopefully the snow does not impact that too much. But today is actually a nice day. It's not like sunny and beautiful, but it's not pouring snow or anything or raining. So we're gonna try to do something while we're here. So we're gonna go down that scenic drive and just take some pictures, see what it's offering the Grand Canyon is so fun. It's one of those sites that I feel like doesn't get old because every time you're just amazed by it. So I'm excited. We just also stopped before we got into the actual national park to get pizza. So we had a little food in our stomach because here it's a national park. So there's not like a ton to eat like there was in Sedona. So it'll be a little different in that sense. The whole reason that we booked this trip in the first place was because it's their winter season here. So they ran a special and so we got like discounted rates in the national park lodging that we had. So yeah, we got a little cabin that I'll be sure to show you guys it's not gonna be anything fancy but we're right here on the Grand Canyon rim we can wake up for sunset walk a few steps and be at the Grand Canyon which is awesome so I'll take you guys along but I just want to give you guys a quick update I'm sorry I've been really really bad at the vlogging part of this trip I've been good at taking videos but not good at talking to you guys guys a quick tour of our little canyon cabin this is the bright angel cabin it's actually really cute it's giving like tiny home aesthetic so i'll just show you guys it's like kind of the size of a hotel room but just kind of more private like you have your own entrance which i'll show you guys the exterior tomorrow but there's like a little spot to sit and then there is a fridge there's no microwave but there's a little stuff to make coffee we have a lot of snacks that we have in here and then just some storage this like connects to another room and then there's a full length mirror and then in the closet we have a lot jam-packed in here but there's a pretty good amount of space and storage in there and then it actually has a tv which we were kind of surprised by and then a dresser if you wanted to unload your stuff but we always keep our stuff in the suitcase then that's a window and the bed is actually really cute I think it's a queen size and we have our little plushies on top and then each of us have our own little nightstand with chargers and then here's the bathroom sorry if it's a little loud we have the little heater thing on but it really pumps out some good heat because it's quite chilly out a nice shower the bathroom's honestly really nice i'm gonna take a shower today it comes with their own little 
shampoo conditioner good morning vlog it kind of snowed yesterday but nothing too bad like i'll just show you guys the view from our hotel little room it was very cold and windy last night we just got ready we took it kind of easy this morning we woke up and wanted to see the sunrise and then we saw it was very cloudy so then we went back to bed for a few hours and then i just kind of got all the content i needed to get up for the honor launch that was today now we're finally getting ready to do a hike we are going to try to do bright angel we're not doing the full thing we're just going to do a mile and a half in a mile and a half out when we were out yesterday it's like a mix of snow mud dirt sand so many different conditions so we don't really know what to expect but with our boots and then we have hiking poles as well we're hoping that it's gonna be okay we made oatmeal with this little coffee brewer my mom made the water with this and then we had some oatmeal and then i had some apples with peanut butter it's a very interesting setup we just don't really have like a kitchen or anything like we did at the last house which is fine but we're making it work as for my outfit today i have my timeless zip and then i'm wearing evergreen effortless top and bottoms and then i'm gonna wear my boots Hopefully you guys can hear me. There's some noise going on around here, but just wanted to update you guys on the day. So we ended up hiking Bright Angel. We did about a mile and a half to two miles down to like a little rest area. And then we came back up. It was so pretty. And actually I feel like it was easier with snow. We had these little grippers that we put at the bottom of our boots so we didn't slip in the ice. And then we had two hiking poles. So we felt nice and stable. It was actually really fun in the snow. I'm just happy we were able to do something today because we were worried that we wouldn't be able to do a hike or anything. That one was really cool. It's always interesting with the Grand Canyon because you're going down and the way up is the hard part. Whereas like other hikes, usually the way there is hard and then the way back is chill. So like you have to kind of be humble in your approach when you're going down to not go too far down so that you can make it back up. But without it being scorching hot, it was actually a lot easier for me. I feel like when I'm hot, I lose my energy faster. But then we went into town, we got Starbucks and we also bought an ice scraper because there is an estimated snow tonight that we're kind of nervous about. We're leaving the Grand Canyon to Zion tomorrow. So we're hoping that there's no complications getting to Zion. Probably going to close out this vlog here and then I'll pick back up in Zion. But tonight we're going to go and get some dinner. We're going to go to a little burger place here. It gets really dark here because they don't really have like lamp posts and stuff. So we are going to get an earlier dinner and then come in and go to bed and then prep to wake up early tomorrow to hit the road.